It's been absolutely phenomenal all year long. That's 30 yards right there. Last week, seven catches, 153 yards, and four touchdowns at Ball State. Now Tyree Jackson will come right back to work and a firing on target as he's able to hit Tyler Mabry. So this Ohio defense, we know Frank Solich, his defensive uh, coordinator, Jimmy Burrow, they know they're going to have their hands full with this offense. Right, both offenses so far have employed a hurry-up speed approach to trying to keep the defense off balance by attack-attack mode. Emmanuel Reed is the, uh, the offset running back with uh, Tyree Jackson. The second down at seven. Jackson will trigger the out. Anthony Johnson got it into the house. Touchdown. Buffalo. Three plays, two of them. Tyree Jackson to Anthony Johnson hookups. And what you're going to see on this play, Michael, is what gets you to the next level from a quarterback standpoint as well as a receiver. And that when you're a receiver, the key component is what can you do after you catch the ball? But watch this pass by Jackson. He's literally on the other side of the football field and throws to the opposite side, outside route. With First and 15 now. It's inside the three-minute mark in the opening quarter. Tyree Jackson coming right. Boyd in the defense where no one was at. This Ohio linebacking core, one of the best in the MAC. Off play action, Jackson taking a shot. Anthony Johnson got it. Touchdown, Buffalo. This dynamic duo on fire again. And you won't find a prettier pass and catch. That was excellent execution. Great catch on the part of Johnson and Jackson's ability to throw with the wind to throw one of the prettier spirals. As you see right here, Jackson drops back, does his play action fake, and then lofts it in the air, and it comes down in the hands of his playmaker, Johnson, in for the score. Look, the tight end with a manual read offset. Pressure on to Tyree Jackson, and his uh, throw was affected by it. It completed, intended for. Sure, because if you do that, he's going to pick you apart. The Ohio's defensive coordinator, Jimmy Burrow, who's been with Frank Solich for all of their. 13 years together at Ohio is one of the best in the business, folks. Uh, coordinated defenses like that. Pressure coming from Quentin Poling and the first team of Mac linebacker on that sack time takedown of Tyree Jackson. And that's what in the business we call a halftime adjustment. And the adjustment is you simply have to put pressure on Jackson as Poling comes in and makes the play because he comes through unabated with the blitz. No one picked him up because no they face the exploits of Johnson. On third down and long. Jackson got uh, forced to step up in the pocket, and Ohio got their stop. I have a hard time believing he just weighs 190 pounds, though, because he's a stout individual. Put it in the hands of Emmanuel Reed. Oh, look at him lower the pads and lower the boom on Brad Ellis coming up from the corner. Gerard, we've been in that spot before. You're coming up for the corner and a five foot nothing, a 200 pounder. Yeah, you know, though, today, what a treat. We're seeing two of the best Mike linebackers in college football and Khalil Hodge and Quentin Poling you know, on his part. 50 year senior out of Lebanon, Ohio, Brad Ellis. As we said, you know, D coordinator Jimmy Burrow, he's had four different DBs trying to cover Anthony Johnson today. He rotated him in the first half. And a sticking right now with Jamal Hudson. That was deflected as uh, has thrown for 263 yards and a couple of touchdowns at 16 to 23 in the afternoon. And this is where you want to get Mr. Johnson involved. And the question is, if you defense coordinator Burroughs, do you double cover the man? All right. Well, uh, we uh, you look at Tyree Jackson, but uh, Anthony Johnson down at the bottom of your screen. And uh, right now he's singled up in coverage. Almost picked off. Now they have the wind at their back here in the fourth. Ohio took advantage in the second and third. And a quickly gun that out to Anthony Johnson. Johnson uh, made a Javon Hagen miss. And Johnson's got 12 yards on that quick gun strike from Tyree Jackson. And if you want to be considered a prolific receiver, just about everyone on scholarship that plays that position can catch. It's what you do after you receive the football that makes you special. And right there, Johnson shows you that he can break tackles and ankles in the process to pick up more positive yards. 
And Javon Hagan was the one who came up from his uh, strong safety spot. Jackson going back to work. He's two for two on those uh, quick outs. Uh, I don't know that, uh, you know, but that he'll, Anthony Johnson will be the first one to tell you. That's a flat out drop. And I'm sure he told Tyree Jackson his bad. Now Jackson coming back to work in that throw 24 stalemate. Anthony Johnson slot top of your screen. Jackson will flush. His throw is too tall and incomplete. Excellent coverage.